Thank you so much for joining me. This is Game Edge. We're back in subsistence since season nine. I'm real excited. We are going back into the crazy season of a solo. But yes, we are also going to be building a base and trying also the brand new update that's going to be coming up very shortly, which I got confirmation from Cold Games. Will not affect our old save games, so that is really awesome. Again, you just saw the top things just flash up there. If you're brand new to that game, you should follow those. Be careful for wolves and, of course, bears and cougars. Uh, they are around. Cougars hang around in the mountain, so that is something you're going to have to be careful for itself. I have to remember to pick up my own logs on this one, because it's solo. I will be doing my own logging and picking them up. That is very much needed now. We're going to have to move forward here and move on and try and get as much logs as we possibly can when we first start. And again, this multiplayer continues as it is, guys. It's just we're doing a little bit of solo with this. We're going to add a little more episodes during the week and we try to do some streams also with this hopefully by next week i'll get some streams up and running uh during the week maybe in daytime too so if you guys are interested make sure you shoot that in the comment field saying yes i'd like to see some of that solo stuff too so absolutely awesome thank you for supporting it if you hit the do like it please hit the like button it's always very much appreciated all right guys let's get rolling um all right so hit up as many trees as you can when you first start this is very very important you want, to, you want to get rolling as fast as you possibly can. Now, we start off with very simplistic. We have actually, luckily enough, we start off with some matches. I do like to put this on here. And we also start off with an apple, which is really, wow, that's actually really good. If I remember starting off with you no know, apple. That is very nice. Uh, some bullets. And, of course, we've got ourselves some matches. Nice. Very nice. Easy way to start it off. Nice and easy flow. We have to remember not to use F because my everything's on E now. It's been reprogrammed. So I have to get used to that. Many, many seasons of this. This is nine seasons. Many videos of this. If you guys want to see it, check out the description field. You also get to see how Cold Games evolved this game. Um, I did play this game for a long period of time. And if you're not aware of it, well, I, I'm probably one of the first people to play it. And the first one to bring it to YouTube and kind of uh, play with this game constantly. And, uh, of course, uh, developer Cold Games. Uh, very kindly, I have a good relationship with him. And I got to... Got to really got to see the evolution of this game, and he's let it be seen by all of you guys as it grows. So I mean, quite amazing. Hats off to, of course, our cool guys. Forget about the rabbit; you're not going to catch that. Don't even think about it. Uh, we do have, of course, our gun, which we're going to move this over here, and we're going to reload it. Put all them bullets in there. Ooh, ah, there we go. We have two extra bullets on the side, nine total. That's pretty darn good. It's a nice way to start. Definitely could take it out at least level two animal, if not more. Depending on your shot. I'd like to get a bow going. Also, I want to find as many chests as I possibly can. Now, the, the new update that's going to be coming out, and not too long from now, hopefully, or as soon as Cold Games can get it prioritized down. He, he's been working very hard on it, guys. So, if you're asking and wondering, it is a very good update, but it's going to take some time to get it completed. And, yeah, as something. I keep on pressing F, guys, if you're asking why I'm not catching those, because I'm, I'm not keep on pressing F. Also, e. Out of pure habit. We're going to find a location to settle down and uh, build our base now i don't like near fences or anything so uh, there's only a couple of water sources that i can build near now i want to build on them but i don't want to really build on them you know what i mean it's just just want to be always the same build but it is much needed if you're going to play this game you're going to need a water source uh asap for your gardens and for everything else you'll be building so that is going to be imperative i get hitting up trees yeah and also looking for crates very much important we're going to grab all this goody here yeah there's a lot of goodies here uh we can make up some planks while we're waiting too let's just make a some planks up and we're also gonna need some logs for the fire uh we're also gonna need to make some sticks and stuff again for fire too so get a couple of planks those are gonna be needed for when you build your actual platform which you're gonna need to start off with and the fire itself well the fire itself is gonna need some sticks to start up usually you can also make a fire starting kit here you also get use uh, so we'll go through that because uh, you can make some biofuel here if you want to you just need medical herbs if you want to so if we had no matches which i'm surprised they start off with matches i didn't remember that but it's a pretty good way to start so let's see how much we need to start off with we'll take one thing at a time let's not get the cart before the horse and uh, let's roll through all the stuff we need to pick up here let's start with the campfire which is gonna be two sticks let's roll those two sticks out we're gonna need to get that completed and rolling and then we're gonna have to find some crates now these little trees here will give you just a limited amount of logs and you have to be careful i mean these are three no it's not horrible it's just you want to look for trees that give you a little more logs which are the ones with a little higher uh over there these ones those ones over there those are four this is six this is a big tree these are my favorite trees my happy tree 
my happy tree itself is absolutely awesome all right we're gonna move forward move on let's do this i got kind of excited you know i do like playing multiplayer it's always fun to have uh but again i do like to build and i do like to get things going too and on the solo so i'm not disappointed to doing both i'm actually extremely excited and many of you were asking for it so here it is so make sure if you guys can please support it and we'll get rolling on it is that a crate over there yes it is it is a crate take out my gun just in case because we are going to be hitting up a place where I can't really see and that kind of stuff can happen as you can see the wolf is right there just try to avoid it as much as possible keeping your of course your food levels high will let you run a little more of course he's hugging that freaking crate god damn and a bear okay not the best start ever uh, scrap metal I need that other scrap. It's very important, especially at the beginning. I'm going to need those things. It is an ammo crate over there. It's not as imperative. This one's a little more imperative. This is a building crate. I mean, the ammo crate is nice. Don't get me wrong. I would go for it, but I'm not going to sit there and mess around with the wolf on day one. All right, ammo crate's going to give us some nails. Nails are great because we're going to need some for platforms right here. So our platforms itself, we need 12 nails. We have uh, some cordage, which we could actually make some more if we had to right here and we can make us also a campfire too once we get their two sticks going that's gonna be perfect let's make up one cordage because we have two fibers right here we picked up that is perfect and we should be able to make our fire in a second here you go just like to have this all completed and next thing i want is of course to get a platform done it's not imperative but it sure helps keeping away wolves and not protecting you on the first day now you have no worries about hunters or anything no enemies are out and about it is initiated of course but day one uh, you don't have one here it takes a couple days after you place the bcu you'll hear me say that quite a bit it's called base command unit now that base command unit is right over here inside your base build here once you place this on the wall you'll uh, you'll well you'll see it's about two days afterwards two and a half days uh it's two full days to say uh you need to you'll start seeing some action so yeah it is what it is we're gonna move on try and collect as much loot as we possibly can for today now i do have to advance and get myself a little bit later stage for the new update too which is gonna be very important for us to get done since there is some extras that are coming out with the next update so i will be trying to do my best to get this rolling maybe with longer episodes and some streams for us to be able to play with uh, we can actually head into the water here and pick up some goodies here too I should be able to find some where are you and of course this will give you fruits and vegetables if you find it also keep your ears out because the animals can attack you inside the water they can swim so it's not so great anyways we'll pick up as much kelp as we possibly can if we can just be careful for of course your air there's no meter you want to go back up for a nice fresh air or else you will get injured out of it we'll try our best to find all of them it's usually about four or five i've seen up to six i think total air is an animal nuts i really stay away from i saw the levels i could have popped up and died right there day one dead dead look at that right there that wolf Ooh. all right this is also one thing i don't like when i start off you can actually do this here and you'll see here options Gameplay, auto logs, where is it? Options here. Controls. There you go. I like the toggle one. I like to be able to click it and leave it on if I need to. Very, very important for me. We have to be careful there is an ammo on the right. I usually do growl. There are some silent ones to be very careful for. How many nails do I have now? I have 10. I need two more nails. That's a good way to start. We're going to have a platform and we're ready to go. We'll start heading towards well i'm thinking about building back here again this time with a different style of base gotta be near the waterfront this this multiplayer is pretty much on the other one i'm trying to avoid doing the exact same spot as much as possible it's just not as much fun did i find any feathers i did find one feather okay Now we can run after the chickens and catch them. Probably recommend you to do it on the first day. Uh, bow and arrow is very expensive. Get takes nails. Since nails are very important to building crates and stuff, we got. The, I prefer 
prefer to just go after the chicken. Come on, baby. Come on, you know you want some. You want some game edge. You want you come on. Well, I'll just take you home. Put a little barbecue sauce in you. Sorry, God. Some chicken wings tonight. Come on. Come on, you little bum. Gotcha. Oh man, that sound freaks me out. I forgot how it sound like when you do catch him. Oh. oh. For a split second, I thought it went bad for me. Uh, we did run by a crate. There is one there beside us. That's great. Fruit and vegetables are low, so we're actually going to eat one apple. Which is great. I'll bring up our fruit and vegetables. And right here, just in case you're not aware, protein. You actually hover over it now. Look at protein. Right here is fruit and vegetables. On the bottom here is your water or hydration. Uh, here is your hunger and, of course, your strength, so your stamina. And, of course, your health. So these are kind of things that to try and kind of keep these two in pretty good shape. And then you'll have your hunger up properly. And that way you can actually keep your stamina up. So it works really well. There is like an easy way of doing it. Just make a shelf. Make sure you're nice and healthy at all times. Now you can't eat raw meat in the current state the game is. So I could kill a chicken and eat him if I want to bring up my protein. You can also find protein bars throughout the actual game itself. So now you're probably saying, why can't you kill that rabbit? Just shoot it. We probably could actually. But you see he runs away. A bullet, he runs away. I don't know. It seems like a real waste. And he's not going to bleed out either. He's just going to run away. He should be actually maybe a little less. Actually never shot a rabbit like this. Uh, right into a wolf. You see, that's why it's a waste. Nope. Not going to do that again. Alright, we're going to go back to where we're going to build. There's really three areas for water in this whole place here. So there's one right in the middle of which we're building right now. Multiplayer. And there's actually another one over here, which is a nice little layout too. Just gonna look at it before I go back down and make a decision. I wanna see where I wanna build here. There's a lot of brush and stuff in this one. Ah, so tough. Where to build? And some more crates here anyway, so it wasn't a waste to come back. I think I'll build off this side here to start off with. Now, last side I built on the actual lake itself, and that it worked out okay. There's a protein bar, as by the way, to help out some protein right here. We also need our hydration up, so we're actually going to drink that. We actually use our canteen here and refill it and then put in boil the water inside the actual fire we, we're going to build. So, that is something. Uh, we actually should make our foundations, which we have 13 nails. That way, we won't waste our nails or stuff. Oh. There's a crate on the other side of the water. Right, we'll swim it. I'll put away my gun just to keep realism up and running. Oh, there's some more here. This is actually fruit and vegetables, too. You can actually use this for yourself. And, of course, you can use it for your livestock, too, which means your rabbits and, of course, your chickens you can actually put in a coop. Or, as he calls it, animal housing. There we go. Beauty. She's a beauty. I have enough energy to run after him? I think I do. I could use a second chicken for tonight. I mean, a protein bar did help quite a bit. I am happy with it, but I would use another little chicken. There's, a, I think, a crate on the left-hand side I just saw. Let's do my little jump thing, which seems to work really good if you jump around a lot. I don't know if it's just bullshit, but... Oh, buddy, next one, you're, you're mine. You know what I mean? You got nothing. No way out of this. Got you, you little bastard. I got you good, too. Mm-hmm. We're we cooking you on a fire tonight. Got some plump barbecue sauce ready to go. All right, I think I saw a crate on the left-hand side. Now, this is a fence here. This is also maybe future expansions to the actual map. He does use these to bring back the fence itself. When he does that. Alright, there's a wolf there. So just put yourself in crouch mode when you get near him. He's not facing you. So he won't really sight you out. He is a level one. We could take him down if we need to. Another protein bar. Really sweet. Let's eat that up. Move our protein up a little higher. Keeping ourselves healthy. My god, proteins are really that's a lot of protein bars for the first day. Usually I find him much later on. Anyways, we'll keep our stamina going. We are gonna need more logs than we just did, but that's okay. Alright, I'm going to put down a platform, just so we can have that done and ready to go. 
in case of emergency. Now, emergency is death. <laughs> it does happen. Uh, you will respawn somewhere in the world if you're brand new to this. So, yes, you will respawn somewhere in the world, but you're not going to know. You won't know where it is. You'll be surprised. It's somewhere. And once you actually start building yourself back up, then uh, you start coming back to your base. At least you have somewhere to put your feet down and, you know, put away some stock and chests and stuff. Those are very, very important. Okay. Build a little higher over here, though. So I don't have this brush underneath me. I do like this kind of area right here. Maybe it's a little higher end to it. How high do I have to go to be on this side? To this right here. Yeah, I think we're going to build right here. Yeah, I like the view of the lake right there. It's kind of sweet. Takes a little hop to get on here. It's nice. Ah, oh, I just did a bandage. Shit. Uh, mistake I made. Mistakes I make. All right. There we go. Open this up. And we're actually going to take and put some logs right here in the fuel. Ignition fuel. There it is. Why oh, it looks so dark compared to the usual? Maybe it's a new change. I just never realized it. Ignition here. We're going to put that in there. We're going to have to go and get some more logs going, that's for sure. And storage crates, we're going to need 10 of those. So that's going to be a little bit of ways away. We can actually go into the water here and stand inside the water right here and actually right-click on the actual canteen and fill it. Now, if you drink it, you will get sick. It does work. <laughs> Don't do it. But you can actually do is just put it into your fireplace here and get it ready for whenever you do come back like that now the, the actual chickens themselves you can't place them in there you can't store them but they can actually stay like this for a long time um there's right now no expiration on the actual meat like that they won't rot away maybe in the future but the current state the game is in they won't do it so you should be safe for now don't actually take apart the chicken dough don't butcher the chicken as soon as you do that then the meat has a countdown for it so keep them whole Wow, that's a lot of freaking animals right there. That's a lots of animals. All right. We'll make our way around here. Hopefully a few more chests before the end day. Now, until time, well, the sun will rise from over here and set itself right there at west. So this is north facing that direction. Now, it sets always with Devil's Peak right here. Devil's Peak is where we're going to be we built kind of close to. Now, if you're going to build in higher elevations, you're going to have to take consideration it's going to get tough. Uh, especially at the beginning, you're going to get cold, you're going to be freezing, you have to have your fire really close to you. You won't be able to go out and, about and get some logs and stuff early in the morning. You'll be freezing too much, and you will take hits for that, so that is your choice, though, if you want to build a little higher elevations. You also have cougars who will roam around, and they are vicious. Uh, yeah, extremely vicious. You better be prepared to do that. <laughs> I prefer to build up near the water. Keeps us nice and safe. And that way I can actually also make my way through uh, the days here without having to worry about it. Now you're going to need as much logs as you possibly can for the first day. This is so imperative. Let's grab as many as we can. Again, you can put auto logging if you want on. Alright, so if you want to see the time right now, usually when it's dead center, that's uh, 12 o'clock. This is around almost 2 o'clock. So we've got a couple hours left to log and, of course, loot uh, for crates as much as we possibly can. So there's still some time to get going. Now you'll start seeing the sun as soon as it hits near the west side of this there. You'll see it just kind of hit the ridge. The sun will start going down. Start heading back to your base. Yeah. Anytime too late, you're going to have to run out, and a glow stick is not going to help you. So prepare yourself. How many, uh, I still have only one feather. Shite. As soon as I pluck those chickens, I also only have uh, nails, and that helped me. I like to make a bow so I can actually kill the, uh, well, hunt as much as I possibly can. And get some rabbits and stuff, which is going to be very helpful. Right now, I can't get the rabbits where they're at. They're too damn fast. I just saw the bullets. You know, just, just a waste. Just a waste. I did it just to show you guys. I know if I've been asked that so many times. This way, I can show you guys. It's just not worth the value behind it. Bear off waiting for the bow. Run after the chickens. Give yourself at least two. If you can, four would be nice for the night if you don't find any protein bars. And this is where we're building a multiplayer. Very nice place. Uh, very cool. The rocks, though, a little dangerous with the animals, I find. 
The animals can climb up on them, so it makes it a little challenging. We've had our own challenges here, that's for sure. All right, we can get some more fruit and vegetables in here if we don't see any more animals around here. Nothing. All right. All right, let's get a couple more of the kelp here and see if we can actually get this done. I almost feel like I have to hold my breath every time when I'm in here. Let's just go back up and catch our breath and grab a little more. This is a nice little haul here. Very nice. This will be very helpful. You can also use this to uh, to get away in an antidote to make an antidote. Get away, sorry. <laughs> I thought I saw something up here. Um, uh, to make an antidote with, so that is very useful. You need that in a, a liver. Raw or any kind of liver. Of course, liver, you'll get that from a wolf or a bear. This is actually one of my favorite places to actually come and get some wood. We were here before. Many times. Oh, shit. And now it's not my favorite place because there's a freaking bear on my ass. Do not go into the water. Worst idea ever. All right. Just telling you guys, do not go in that water. <laughs> I've, I've tested it with cougars. I think it was a wolf. I'm trying to think about it. I think it was a wolf. They win. They win. All right. So don't do it. Now, there's a lot of things here to do. Again, this game is an early access. It is being built. So... Patience is always kind of needed. Pro Games has a lot of plans for this game. And he's a sole developer working extremely hard at this. So, yeah. Very, very cool game. One of my favorites of all time. One of my favorites of all time. Fell in love with this game the first time I got a copy of it. And uh, ever since that, it was even before it hit Steam. It was closed, closed, closed off. A very limited amount of uh, YouTubers had it. And, uh, yeah, it was quite amazing. Fell in love with this game. I fell in absolute love with it. It is a tough game, though. If you're going to start this off, you want to do easy mode, no hunters, then progressively bring yourself back up. If you don't believe me, try it out normal, then you'll do it again. It's You'll, you'll want to start over again. I mean, some maybe if you're natural at this, it's very possible not to. But it is very, very tough. And it's, you know, these animals are ball-busting. They can make it very arduous on us. Which is the reason why I love this game. Right, we're going to start heading back. Looking at time, we're getting about three-ish. Getting a little late, three or four. Once, once I start seeing it through the trees like that, just a little tint change. It's time to get my uh, arson gear. And the auto pickup, yes, it can be done. You can actually switch that. I told you that before. Sorry if I repeat myself, but I just prefer this. I don't know. It feels more realistic. Maybe it's the amount of time I play this game. And have it. And a little mini game of trying to catch him, which I'm not very good at right now. I lost my practice here with the multiplayer. There's nothing else on the ground, though. No. Just gives a little more realism to it. There we go. Nope. Wow, missed all three of them. Definitely out of practice. This is going to give you one log here. Boom. One solo. Nice little small tree. Crates are not plentiful, that's for sure. There seems to be a little struggle. How many logs do I have now? I believe this is all meant for fire right now, to keep ourselves so warm as much as possible for the night. And how many we at now? Ten. Well, that's it. Yikes. We got to get quite a bit more to survive it. This is pretty much the game to start off with. And after that, a lot of building done. So if you guys want to check that out, go and, like I mentioned, go and check out the description field. You'll see tons and tons of different uh, builds we've done and also a lot of different changes to this game. It's quite impressive. Come on, just a little more. There you go. Caught those ones. Nice. Nice. My lucky one tree. I'm going to call my lucky tree because after that I was able to catch everything. It's like I almost recentered myself. There you go. Another one. Dropped a little too low. Perfect. Nice four shot there. Perfect. We're going to need quite a few. I'd say keep about 40 or 50 on you. Oh, shite. Forget about that. Okay, he's on us. For real. Okay, we got a wolf and a bear. Yeah, we definitely have the bear now. I hear the damn thing. Our stamina is not a peak. Oh, shite. Wow. 
Okay, so now we have two bears and a wolf, I think. <laughs> God. I know it's saw crates behind me. It's killing me. I don't know if he's off me or not. I don't want to risk looking. Yeah, he's off me. Oh, shite. Oh, man, I was sure it was it. I saw the stamina start going down. And I was like, oh, no. Not the way to start the first time. Death right away. Infected. No. All right, we should start looking at maybe going back to our base. It's just right up here. You see, that? that's a bad sign right there. That's darkness coming. That's pure darkness coming. All right, last four. Because I got to cross over and it's almost see those animals. I'm going to to the left of this space. Now, you're probably asking, how do you know where you're at in this game? It's because I played so many different seasons. I know the map by heart. And that is the main reason why. You'll get used to it. Again, as soon as you get the BCU down in your base command unit, as mentioned, you will get a... A GPS, a real round circle that's going to show you exactly where your base is. So it does make it a lot easier. Just got to keep my ears open here. I got a couple of meat. Nothing great. This is not the best haul. Not the best start ever, that's for sure. Limited amount of food. But I see a couple of crates there to finish up the day, which crates do seem to. Oh. Won't attack us here, but I need him to get away. He'll go away once he's done that. Uh, there's a crate over there. I'm positive of it. Was it level two wolf? I can't see it anymore. I don't know if it was. It could also be a shadow. Those little ferns, like these things here, uh, those things will cause that same effect. Look, almost look like a. Oh, it looked just like a crate and drives me up the wall. All right, what is it? Crouch down here because I like to crouch down at night. Let's keep me nice and safe. Put the fuel in here. We'll start up with the ignition. So I have 20 logs. Oh, actually, shite. I have 71. I thought it was, I wasn't picking up enough. I didn't see the front part. I'm so used to my placing of things. All right, we're really low on fruit and vegetables. We will eat that. We also take this here, which is also showing you, if you want to hover over it, it shows you nine fruit and vegetables. Hunger plus three and hydration minus one, though. Ooh. I did not realize that it brings down your hydration that. Very nice. Very nice. All right. It's okay. I'll take a little bit of hydration hit. If it means I'm going to bring up my fruit and vegetables. I do have a two, of course, here. We'll take these two here. We got ourselves a couple of feathers, but we have no nails, which is just sucking. That is just sucking big time. I'm disappointed. We'd like to have made a bow and get out and about tomorrow. But we'll still make up the sticks and try and make that on a roll. Make five sticks. Right here. And we're going to need seven cordage. Which is right here. Cordage. So you're going to need two fibers for each cordage. We should be okay. I think we should be okay. We'll find out very shortly. As it goes through, their water is nice and ready. We can actually drink that up tomorrow morning if we need to. We'll leave the meat like this. We're doing okay. The kelp is going. We've got this. We should have our bow up and running in a few moments, and then food should be ready to go. You'll see the food trying to change. You know, it's medium low grade chicken, very low quality. Right now, it's 12, 2, and 9, as you can see there in blue. Protein is 12, vegetables 2, and hunger is 9 plus 9, the way it is right now. Of course, you get sick because it is raw. Once it actually comes back up here, which right now in the game it doesn't exist, I know, but in the future it will, because that's definitely Cold Game's plans for the future. Uh, but yes, you'll see it go up right now. It's, now it's cooked. It's 18 for protein, 2 for fruit and vegetables, and 14 for hunger. Leave them on too long, and it'll just burn itself, so don't do that. All right, we've got some barbecue sauce chicken going on. We're doing good. We're going to eat both of the fruit and vegetables here. Bring up our hunger right here. That's beautiful. Ah, love it. We're doing really good here, guys. We're doing really good, I should consider it. Considering. Okay, that's enough. Let's not eat any more of that. That's good. And we've got ourselves how much cordage now? Got enough. Craft one bow. And there we go. We got our bow. So next thing we want to do is arrows and all that, which you can find ammo. Arrows are going to take two. 
nails right now. Some of these things are placers, guys, right? So future changes can occur. He will take away the nails. Right now, that's what he's using as a placer, most likely. And a lot of the things that you'll see has transformed from the day one. He'll add things to the game. Once he does that, things will change. Uh, this is developer. If you don't know about this game, this developer will. And he has promised and he works extremely hard. He's not changing his mind. He is here to stay. Very, very much a lot of communication. He works extremely hard in this game and has a passion for it. Uh, so uh, don't worry about it disappearing. This game is here to stay. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. Really do appreciate all of your amazing support. Again, if you like this, don't forget the like button. And if you want to check out the game, check the link in the description on the Steam. And I do recommend it 110%. It is absolutely amazing. And no, I do not make a single cent off this. Uh, Cold Games has never given me a single cent for anything at all. So, yes, the only thing I got would think it was a game for free. So that's it. So thank you so much for being here. This is your Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.